Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or the 10 Plus and you have an issue where you're using a cable and it's not fast charging. I'm gonna give you guys about 10 solutions for to get you up and running right now. And this is only regard to the cable that it's not fast charging. If you have an issue with your charging pad where it's not charging fast wirelessly, then I'm gonna make that video next, okay? So first thing is first, First thing you need to have is you have to have the fast cable charging enabled on the Note 10 itself, okay? How you do that, you simply just go into your settings here. You can slide down and click on the gear icon right there. And then we wanna go ahead and we wanna scroll down to where it says device care. Tap on that. And then from here, you wanna tap where it says battery. Now, look on the top right hand side. You see those three dots? Tap on that and then tap on settings. Now scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom. And down here under charging, well, we get two options here, okay? So one is fast cable charging. You can turn that on and off. And down here is fast wireless charging. But anyways, we're only talking about the fast cable charging. So first thing is you need to make sure that it is enabled here, okay? If it's an enabled already and you put it in there and it's not showing fast, then do this. Turn it off, on, off, on, off. Do this three times and then put it back on and now go ahead and grab your charging cable, pop it in there, and you should get fast charging. Now another thing to note too is you have to have a cable that is capable of fast charging as well, okay? If you just have a standard cable, it'll just charge at the standard rate. Another important thing too is the wall adapter or the wall brick here. So this is the one that comes with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus. If I pop this out here, you can see it's a USB-C to USB-C, and you have to make sure that it's all the way plugged in. So go ahead and, if, if it's in like 90%, it's still gonna charge, but it's not gonna give you fast charge. Make sure it's in all the way, just like that. And then go ahead and give your phone a try. Also with the wall socket, sometimes it doesn't work on one, one wall socket, then you go to the next one, all of a sudden you have fast charging. Now in case, if you don't have the one that came with the Note, uh, 10 here, the USB-C, the brick here. There's a lot of other brands that you can get as well, okay? And it has to be capable of fast charge. If you use a standard one, like this one here, this one here, it's not gonna give you fast charge. Another alternative too is, um, here's another name brand here. This is a uh, Qualcomm 3.0, but this is a USB-A on one end. On the other end, you need to get the actual USB-C, something like this, USB-A to USB-C. Also, even these adaptive fast chargers for Samsung, these work as well, but this one requires a USB-A cable to a USB type C. Also take note that there are times where this is like defective or it could be a fake, okay? I have several of these, bunch of these um, adaptive fast charging and some of the ones from Samsung actually, they do not work until I try another one, then I will get the fast charging. Sometimes your cable is defective as well. And what you can also do too is if you plug it in here, it's not giving you fast charging, it's just saying, uh, just charging. What you can do is try to pull it out, flip it over, and plug it back in. And if it works doing that, then the case is it may be a defective cable or you might have an issue with the charging port here. Now, another possibility is your charging port here. It could have like dust, debris, or even lint if you keep it in, in and out of your pocket and whatnot. Go ahead and grab yourself like a toothbrush or some kind of brush. Go ahead and go into the charging port and kind of like Brush in there like that. Go ahead and give it a couple blows. Give it a nice little clean again. Give it a blow and then go ahead and pop your cable in and hopefully you have fast charging. If not, we're gonna go to the next, next step here. All right, so if it's still not fast charging, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna force the Note 10 to restart, okay? Very, very simple. So what you wanna do with the phone on right now, what we wanna do is we wanna press and hold two buttons simultaneously. It's gonna be the volume down button and the side button here, or Bixby button, or power button, whatever you wanna call it, okay? Volume down, side button. You wanna press and hold both buttons, continue to hold until we see the Samsung logo appear, then we can go ahead and let go, okay? So my phone is on right now, and we'll do this together. Volume down, side button, one, two, three. Press and hold, do not let go until we see that Samsung logo appear. I'm still holding on both buttons. I'm not gonna let go. I'm not gonna let go until I see that Samsung logo appear. Give it a second here, it's about to come up. As soon as I see the Samsung logo, I'm gonna go ahead and let go. 
I'm still holding on both buttons here. There it is. I can go ahead and let go. Now, once the phone is booted back up, go ahead and grab your cable, pop it in there, and hopefully you now have fast charging. If not, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so your Note 10 is still not fast charging. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to wipe or clear the cache partition. Wiping or clearing the cache partition only deletes temporary fi files. A lot of times, um, clearing the cache will help the phone if it's experiencing like any kind of errors or lagginess as well okay so how we clear the cache partition is very very simple first we've got to power down the phone after the phone is powered down we need to press and hold two buttons until we see the samsung logo appear that'll boot us into the android recovery menu and then from there we can wipe the cache partition very very simple to do so go ahead and power down your phone by default to power it down you have to press the volume down button and the side button here simultaneously okay but you can remap it where if you just press and hold the side button here, the power um, off menu will pop up as well, if you remap it. Anyway, by default, press on the volume down, power button, okay? Just press and hold until this menu here pops up. Ready? Press and hold. The power off menu pops up here, then go ahead and power off your phone. Wait till it's completely down. Okay, so my phone is totally off now. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna press and hold the volume up this time as well as the side button. I'm gonna press and hold and wait till the Samsung logo appears and then this will boot me into the Android recovery menu. Okay, so volume up, side button, okay, ready? One, two, three, press and hold. Do not let go, this might take a little while. Oh wow, there it is, I can go ahead and let go and hopefully that worked. I don't think it worked because it went too fast. Oh wow, it worked, okay. So here we go. So now we're at the uh, Android recovery here. Use the volume rocker so you can move up and down. So we wanna go down to where it says wipe cache partition, right here, wipe cache partition to select it. Go ahead and press the side button right here. And then this will pop up here. Are you sure you wanna do this? It cannot be undone. Sure, no problem. So go ahead, use the volume down, go down to yes. Then click on the side button to confirm. And right away, it only takes like a second. And down here it says cache wipe is complete and then it brings you back to the default up here re uh, reboot system now so go ahead and re reboot it simply go ahead and tap on the side button here and then wait till your phone is totally back up once it's back up go ahead and plug that bad boy in and you guys should have fast charging now if not we're going to go to the next step all right so for the last step here what we're going to do is we are going to reset the default settings we're not doing a factory reset we're just resetting everything back to the default settings you're not going to lose any photos or videos or your personal data or your apps that you downloaded or whatnot okay so what you need to do is simply just go into your settings again tap on the gear icon right there and then from here we want to scroll down and we want to go down to where it says general management tap on that and then we're going to tap on reset again what we're going to do is reset settings it says reset all settings to their defaults now again we're not doing a factory reset we're just resetting the settings here so tap on that and you can see right here uh, your phone will be reset to default settings except the security language and account settings and of course any custom any customizations you made to your phone like ringtones do not disturb settings will be uh, discarded it'll be gone so you're gonna to have to redo it again but your personal data and the settings of downloaded apps won't be affected. So what you simply do is press on uh, reset settings. Your phone will reboot. Once it's booted back up, go ahead and plug it back in and you should have fast charging. Now let me know what step works. Sometimes it takes a combination um, of some of these steps to get it back up and running. Anyways, there you guys go. Any questions? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.